Dean at Walter, or are you just kidding, Walter Dean, close enough. <laughs> And today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have about 10 books that I've read recently and I just don't need on my shelf so I'm sending them off to the thrift store. So I thought I would share them with you before I give them away. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I have is Slam by Walter Dean Myers and I was originally super excited about this book because it was all about basketball and your girl loves herself some basketball but I really did not like this book. I gave it a two, I think. So the next book that I have is The Trial by R.A. Crawford and it sounded really cool when I read the synopsis. I thought it was going to be kick-ass females fighting together to beat this trial in order to become soldiers to get rid of the men of the world, but that was not what this was at all. It was basically just female and female hate and I just was not here for it, so goodbye! the trial. The next book I have is Murder in Little Shendon and this is by A.H. Richardson and I gave this a one star. I hated it. It was so boring and the dialogue pissed me off and I just nope just no. Usually I really like murder mysteries, but no. The next book is another book that I really did not like and that is Cauldron's Bubble by Amber Elbley and I gave this one a one out of five stars as well because it was just so boring and nothing happened and just uh, no. The next book I have is The Beginning of Everything by Robin Schneider and I gave this a 2.5 out of five stars I think. It was okay, but I didn't like how all the female characters in the book were portrayed as like dumb blonde bimbos and that the one girl, Cassidy Thorpe, who was like basically this quirky girl that everybody had to love was portrayed as like this amazing thing. It just really bothered me and also there were so many sexist comments in it that it drove me insane so I do not need it on my shelf so it is going out of my life. Goodbye. The next book I have is Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book and it's by Jennifer Donnelly and I think I gave this a three. I enjoyed it. It was cute when I read it but I really don't need it on my shelf so I'm just sending it off to the thrift store so somebody else can enjoy it. The next book I have is Empress of a Thousand Skies by Rhoda Belazia. Probably saying that wrong. And I gave this a three out of five stars. It was entertaining when I read it but it's not something that I'm ever going to pick up again and I don't feel the need to continue with this series so I don't think I need the first book and maybe somebody else can enjoy it a lot more than I did. The next book I have is Past Tense by Star Spider and I did enjoy this when I read it. I think I gave it a 3. It might have been a 2.5. I don't remember. But again it's just not something that I'm going to ever reread. Although like I love the cover and how rainbowy it is but I just I don't need it and I need to make more room for my shelves because I literally have seven piles of books beside me right now that don't fit on my shelves so <sighs> I'm a hoarder. The final two books are graphic novels. The first is In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. It was one of those ones that I liked while I read it but never gonna reread it so it can go off to the thrift stores for somebody else to enjoy. And the same with Hermes the Olympians Tales of the Trickster by George O'Connor. I enjoyed it when I read it, but not something I need to reread. Alright guys, so that is my unhaul for today's video. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!